Well, they are mopping up on the lake shore, <laughs> and in this case, that's a really great thing. Yeah, it's a brand new art exhibit. We've got artist Melissa Dorn here, along with Tracy Nelson, CEO of East Shore Industries. We'll explain that connection as we go through, but good morning to both of you. Good morning. Hello. All right, Melissa, let's talk a little bit about mop. what's mop art? <laughs> so uh, I kind of stumbled upon this influence uh, by reading a book. Okay. and came across the word mop and a lot of my work has had to do with humor okay. uh, and I just found the word funny okay <laughs> quite literally found the word funny thought about it a little bit wrote it down in my sketchbook did a quick drawing of what okay. I would consider a mop and left it there for a little bit now okay. the, the book was about art so it had nothing to do with mops um, but it just would not leave me alone okay. so uh, it also brought back this memory of my mother calling me a mop head growing up. <laughs> so anytime she wanted me to get my hair cut, she'd start calling me a mop head. It didn't really work, but you know. Oh, taking a look at some of the beautiful things you've created, what can we expect from this exhibit? So I have uh, paintings, drawings, and sculpture. And the paintings uh, include a lot of texture. Mm -hmm. The drawings are uh, a portion of 90 drawings that I did of a mop, of course, in my own way. Mm -hmm. And the sculptures all include actual mop pieces. Oh, neat. Okay, Tracy, we have to talk about your connection to mops because you have a very different connection than, <laughs> than Melissa. We do. Within East Shore Industries, we have a company, manufacturing company called Algoma Mop Manufacturers, okay. and we manufacture mops. We employ adults with uh, varying different abilities to help sew our mops and uh, Melissa reached out and contacted us when she was looking for some mop supplies for her art projects. And in return, she gave a seminar to some of your clients and she we have did. some pictures of that. She Talk did. us through that a little bit, she Tracy, did. what that was like for her. Melissa came in and it gave our clients a great opportunity to have, um, to do something a little different than work and be sewing with mops. And so Melissa came in and shared some of her uh, fantastic energy and artistic <laughs> Um, experience with the individuals that we serve and um, they were just delighted to have that opportunity to work with Melissa. Sure. And now the larger Algoma and certainly other folks can come and visit your exhibit. Yes. Talk a little bit about where it's on display. So it's at the Yardstick which is right uh, in the middle of Algoma and Yardstick is a new space that uh, they kind of, well, they let me take over. They really did. So uh, you'll see a lot of work there. But what Yardstick will be very soon is a cafe, bookstore, and gallery. Oh, nice. So right now it's serving just as a gallery for the mop work. Mm -hmm. um, but very shortly, it'll include a bookstore and cafe. Well, it's a great thing to come see, and of course, uh, it's a really neat connection with East Shore Industries. Yeah, so thanks lucky. to both of you for being Thank here. You. The Mopping Up exhibit runs through November 2nd at Yardstick in Algoma. That is at 317 Steel Street. You can check them out on Facebook. Just search for Yardstick Algoma. Thank you. Thank you.